Hey everybody, I'm back with a, another quick Halloween project because I just can't get out of the spirit of the season here. And so I have some water jet cut ghosts from SS Glass Arts. Uh, SS Glass is the um, uh, Etsy water jet cut uh, team that I've featured before. So uh, I'll drop their link if you're interested, but I thought these ghosts were super cute. I also love these spring green stars. I thought those were fun. Uh, there were some little ghosts that came with this set uh, or with, with what I got here. And so um, I decided to go ahead and put some eyes on these. And the way I'm gonna do that is what I featured in a previous video. I'm gonna use my little um, medium pen. I'm gonna do just a couple of dots and I'm gonna put some uh, silk screen black from Colors for Earth on there just to, to give it a dark spot uh, for the eyes. So what I am playing with here and what I thought I would show you is I want to do a full fuse on this piece because I've got other things that are going in for full fuse as well. And um, but what and, and I just I'm filling up the kiln, but I also want to slump this uh, later in a unique way that I that I think would be better with a full fuse. So um, the problem with full fuse and some of the, sometimes these water jet cuts is they kind of they kind of bleed out and and get um, too fuzzy around the edges, round off too much, uh, and you lose the definition. So I'm going to build this panel and then I'm going to flip it upside down to fire it so that I keep uh, some of the definition around these um, shapes. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyes to these. Then I'm going to put these on the on the um, panel here. I'm going to fix everything with my favorite. Uh, adhesive here, hairspray, and let it dry nice and solid. And then I'm going to put it in the kiln, flip it upside down. I'll put another layer on the back of this to give it, you know, two full layers and I'll do a full fuse. And then um, the designs will be on the kiln floor, if you will, although I use fiber paper, but you get my point. Uh, and then the glass will, will come down around it and keep these shapes a little stronger. Uh, oh, I also have some fun um, white uh, stars from uh, Tabitha. Uh, and so uh, glass, uh, Tabitha's Glass Emporium, uh, I'll drop a link, but I've had these for a while. I don't know if she has these on her website anymore. I know she has some stars. I'm just not sure if these specific ones, but I've been eager to use these. So I'm gonna play with these in a couple of different ways on this piece as well. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and build it out now and uh, take it to the kiln. Okay, so <clears throat> I decided to add a couple of more stars. I had some uh, water jet cuts from the glass underground. Uh, these were kind of a, um, gosh, like a, maybe a tint that had a silver irid on it. It might've been a gray with a silver irid. Um, I can't remember, 1429 or something. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I liked those as well for this. So I added those. Uh, I just played, uh, as you can see, I had some frit that was dichroic frit and I've added that. Uh, very carefully with my highly precise straw tool here <laughs> into the mouths and eyes of these bigger ones, thinking that that dichroic sparkle will be kind of a fun element as well. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do anything else to this or not. I've, I've tinkered with the idea of putting a little bit of dichroic across the top, but I might just um, call it quits for now on this and see what it looks like when it comes out. So uh, I'm going to let this fully, fully dry so that nothing comes off then I can flip it upside down, add a piece on the back, and be ready to go. Okay, so here's the ghost piece <laughs> with my fingerprints on it. Kidding. This is the, the top, which is ultimately the back. Here is the front. So I fired it face down. I'm really, really pleased with this. So um, these stars from Tabitha went right into the glass. You see all the beautiful lines within them, the designs. I did a couple on the green, which is cool. These green stars look neat. The iridescent stars look really cool. The ghosts I'm super happy with. The little faces that I drew on are awesome. The iridescent glass, or excuse me, dichroic glass that I put in the eyes and mouth uh, fired nice and flat. It's really, really cool. So um, there's just a little bit of spikiness, um, so I'm going to knock those down with just a little diamond pad. Um, this is not perfectly flat, and that's okay. Uh, I think it's I think it's going to be, um, well, it's not okay. Uh, actually, this part I need to grind down because what I'm going to do is I'm going to slump this over a, uh, a, a half dome kind of shape so that this becomes a self-stander and it needs to stand flat. So actually, I do need to go in and 
flatten that. It's okay about the top and the sides being a little organic, but this needs to be flat so that it sits flat. So I'm gonna take that to the grinder. Then I'm going to, uh, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this off on the sides where it's a little spiky, um, not too bad. Then I'm going to make sure this is really good and clean. I'm gonna dust it with clear powder and then I'm gonna put it back in the kiln for another full fuse. And what that's gonna do is totally shine this back part up, uh, really make this pop, and then, uh, and then I'll slump it. So stay tuned, I'm gonna take this to my grinder and then I'll show you what it looks like after it comes back out of the kiln. Okay, here is the piece now flipped, refired, looks really good. And so I am going to slump it on this double curve mold to give it uh, some dimension and allow it to be a self-stander. Now, white and black are notorious for heating and cooling at very different times. So I'm gonna be very conservative on this ramp. I'm just gonna go 150 degrees an hour up to about 1220 and hold for 10 minutes and, um, and then ramp back down. So I, I want this piece to crack. And um, I guess I've seen a lot of people who have had issues with pieces like this that are white and black together. So uh, let's see how this turns out. Okay, here it is. It's all finished. It's slumped nicely in the mold. And uh, I'm really pleased with this. The only thing um, is that it wasn't quite long enough for the mold. And therefore, it doesn't stand as strong as I would want it to. It's, um, it'll stand on its own, but it's a little wobbly. Uh, but still, you get a sense of what I was going for here. I'm, I'm pleased with this. Uh, I'll just put it in a spot where it doesn't, uh, it doesn't wobble. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will post a link to the vendors where I got uh, these supplies in case you're interested in seeking them out yourself. I hope you learned something. Happy early Halloween, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>